Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a new bundle that is in the online exclusives at stampinup.com. So it's called the Changing Leaves Bundle and included in it is the Changing Leaves Stamp Set. So it has these three pretty big size leaves and then these really cute sayings. And then there's also a hybrid embossing folder. So you have your embossing folder. I don't know how well you can see this, but it just has some really pretty dynamic large leaves on it. And it's a 3D embossing folder, so it gives a really, really good image. And then coordinating with that are the changing leaves dies. So you have this big die that um, you can use with the embossing folder and then these other littler ones that you can kind of use alongside it. Super cute, so fun. It reminds me of fall, but I wanted to kind of do some cards that weren't necessarily fall based cards because I wanted to show that you can use leaf stamp set all year long. So I wanted to give a few ideas, a few tips on how to use this hybrid embossing folder. So. My first card that I did, I only used the stamp set. I didn't include the embossing folder or the dies in that at all. So I wanted to show you that. And this is what it came out like. So I just stamped the images and then cut apart these little strips so that it just has a little bit of space in there. And then I used some Stampin' Blends to kind of color and give the images a little more of a dynamic feel, but super fun. So you can, just use the stamp set and stamp some really cute images with this. The next card I wanted to show you, I wanna kinda of give you a tip with this. So I wanna stamp the these three big leaves on this card, but then I wanna run it through the embossing folder and get that really cool 3D dynamic image with the stamps. So the cool thing about this embossing folder is if you open this up, you can fit this die right into um, these three leaves that are on the embossing folder. So that way, when you cut it out, you can cut those leaves right out and it has that really dynamic embossed look on the dies that you cut. But you also can use this as a stamp on your paper to get, um, to stamp these perfectly so then if you just run it through the embossing folder and not with the die, the images are going to be in the right places. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to use this die and I'm just going to place it down on my paper, kind of in that direction. And I'm gonna use just a post-it note to keep that in place, just like that. And then I'm gonna take each of my um, big stamps, the leaf stamps, and I'm gonna stamp them right in the center of those of that die so that when I then run it through on the embossing folder, those images will have that embossed look behind it. So we'll start with the Misty Moonlight, and I'm going to just ink up my biggest leaf here in Misty Moonlight. And then because it's photopolymer, I can see right where I wanna stamp that down. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in the center of my die, just like that. And my die kinda stuck to it, but you get the idea. So then I'm gonna just place that back down and grab my next leaf. And with this next one, I'm going to use the peach pie with this smaller leaf and then just do that same thing. Just kind of line that up in there and stamp down. Okay, and then my last one, I'm just gonna move this so that it's not in the way. And I'm gonna grab Lost Lagoon with this one and just ink that leaf up real good and then do the same thing and stamp that down. So now I know that where those are lined up on there, I can come and line it up with the die here and it'll run through just like that. And then it'll give me that really cool embossed dimension on there. So let me show you that card. Here it is. So you can see I ran it through and it just embossed on that, 
those places that I stamped. And then I have some cute white ones in the back too. Super fun. So that's a great way to use that embossing folder as well with the die. Okay, my last card, this one's fun. Um, I'm gonna kind of do that same thing and I'm going to use wild wheat and I'm going to just stamp this just regular down on a white scrap two times. So one, and two. And then I can take those images with my die and my embossing folder. And like I said, this just, you kind of have to move it around until it fits, but it kind of clicks in there. You can see it's kind of stuck in there. And then you can just take your image that you stamped, and this one I should have cut a little bit smaller, but it'll just fit right in there. And then you can run it through on your die cutting machine, and it's going to emboss that leaf just like before, but with the die in there, stuck in there, it will also cut it out. So it's really cool. Let me show you the card. So I did that on these two. And then I also cut a few of the other dies from the coordinate with it and stamped that really cute leaf in the background. This one, okay, I, it is a little more fall-like. The colors a little, are a little more fall, but I thought they were really pretty. And you can see on these leaves, you can see the dimension of that embossing folder on there. Super fun. So those are a few different ways to use the hybrid embossing folder. This Changing Leaves bundle is really fun. These hybrid embossing folders have been around for a couple of years now, but every time they, they just don't cease to amaze me how much fun they can be and how many options you have to using them. They're really, really fun. So if you have any questions or you're interested in purchasing these products, make sure to check the links below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.